Hello folks, welcome back to the second episode of the New Year's series. If you haven't watched the first episode yet, that video is available on the channel here. And I know what you're thinking. It's 2024, we said we'd do a New Year's series, but there haven't been that many videos. Surely, Spraggy, it's been going for a week now. Where are my highlights? Well, there haven't been any highlights. Here is what's been happening. <laughs> oh my god! All in with sevens. They got nines again. That's a nine. All right, good night, everyone. Glad we waited. We are dancing all into the middle with the jacks. Cavalito's got kings. Oh, what a blessed life. Oh, blessed day. Ace track. Come on, Triple E, how could you? Seven souls coming, you gotta believe in something. <laughs> what goes on with people, man? We've called all in with Ace Queen. We're up against Ace Queen. Don't you dare. Ace Queen, Ace Queen, and I lose. Yeah. Now that's funny. Yes. Oh God. Grow up. Seven. Grow up. I mean, come on. Aces, kings, and ace jack in the 109. Oh my God. Dead to star wins ace king, huh? Just out the 1k, just like that. So there you have it. I mean, I haven't been able to get anything going. I've been on a pretty disastrous start to the year. A little insight for you. January 1st, minus 2100. January 2nd, minus 3000. January 3rd, minus 2300. Fourth and fifth, we lost $35, then $9. And on the sixth, we lost $800 before the Sunday, the first Sunday of 2024. We lost $5,859. So our New Year's series total so far are $30,305 in buy-ins. $16,139 in cashes and a net loss of $14,166. That is not how I wanted to start 2024. In the start of the last video, I was in the gym talking about New Year's resolutions and now I'm stuck 14K. So in today's video, we have a highlight for a reason because we're trying to turn it around. We've got some deep runs in the 530, some deep runs in the turbo PKOs and maybe it's time we start digging ourselves out of this $14,000 hole that we're starting the year on. If you're enjoying these videos, it would really be appreciated if uh, watching this one, you drop a like down there. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, we've got a lot of good stuff coming up in 2024. And obviously you've got all the old videos still there as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd appreciate it if you hit the sub button, that would be great. And leave a comment, let me know what you think. Minus 14K to start the year. Hopefully right now, we're gonna turn it around. Enjoy. Swig of coffee for the hot $82 PKO. This is it. And for the big reveal, this is it with a set on the flop against Kyle Johan, who is about to get shown a full house. Maybe Kyle has Ace King. Maybe Kyle has King Jack. Maybe Kyle thinks I just busted my hearts. I'm all in. Maybe Kyle had hearts. Maybe Kyle gives up. By the way, third set today in the hot 82. Fears wisdom. You should fear a set, pal. That's what you should fear. Never mind wisdom. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Seems like a good hand to have to bluff with. My hand seems like a good hand to have a call with. We'll shake hands and move on. Two pairs, Dominic. And I'm feeling good. $94 locked up in the hot A2 and chip leader. We're absolutely cooking over here. Absolutely cooking. Marco Vitsis. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot it's Marco Vitsis. Oh my goodness, what year is it? It's 2024, it's a new year. We can beat Marco Vitsis in 2024. For well, mine is the earth and everything in it. That's a pretty good hand to see. $28 bounty. More champagne for my ongoing successes. Straight into the Kings. Two of 16, one away from the money. Pretty uh, fun spot, right? We're going to be opening pretty much any two on the bubble when we cover everyone. We've just got the King and the King. Pretty funny. It's David Erickson too. A known player backer of hands. Boo this flop. And there's in the money. Let's motor our Jack 8 into the middle here for a bounty. $42. Unfortunately, we've been called. But fortunately, we have improved to the winning Hold'em hand. The winning poker hand is in my hand. Two of 13, $183 in bounties locked up. If we're raising it, it's not to fold it. 48% turns into 95 on the flop. And that's your final table. And there it is. This is your final table of the Hot 82. Not the biggest final table. But a final table nonetheless. We'll beat what's put in front of us. Or we'll attempt to beat what's put in front of us, should I say. We get Ace-Queen first hand. The only player who covers me comes in for the raise. 
Should we whip some pants up? See what we might be playing for here? Alright, remember that the pants you're about to see on your screen are exclusive of bounties. That is to say, we're going to win whatever you see in the pet table. Plus, however much we get for knocking people out, that is a number that currently stands at $201.57. And uh, I'm honestly already a little upset. We flat the ace-queen, we get this kind of large sizing on the monotone board into three opponents. I don't have a heart in my hand. I'm going big bet. I'm getting paid. And it's enough to take a chip lead, which is nice. Guys, all in with the ace queen against the king of the jack. Justice, some might say, restored at the river. That's us laddered to $109.72. And we call a three bet in the 5.30. And we flop the toppest pair versus Wizard of Kenya, small blind. But three bet versus EP, I mean, we're going to flat jacks here. We're going to flat jacks on the flop. We're going to have pocket eights here. They did half pot the flop, which is going to narrow me a little bit, right? Make me stronger on the turn. Very tough one to want to let go of the ace and the queen. Really sad against Wizard Pequeno, I think, though. Calling queens on the FT just versus the open jam looks uh, like a good spot. Five on the river for all the biscuits, huh? I mean... Sorry for the slow roll. They just ripped 25 blinds on the FT whilst covered with the fives, huh? And drill, drill a two out on the river. I'm two of eight now. Even after losing this, I'm still two of eight on the FT. I mean... Uh, we are down to six. 198 plus bounties locked up. I suppose we can't have it all our own way, can we? I'm all in blindly blind. We're down to four players. We lost a couple. Ivy Makers up to 126k. And it looks like bam, badam. Took the other spoils. How do we feel about this? <laughs> Not sure how I feel about it, to be honest. Tight is right. He calls. And we'll bet for some equity denial. And lose here to the limp called Jack Nine offsuit four big blinds on the button. And six three off in the big blind, huh? And seven three off uh, seven three suit, excuse me. Boo these hands! Oh, we got an all in. Ace nine against ace eight. Ace nine to hold. Ace nine to hold. We've laddered to third with nothing. Woohoo! We will take it. And good luck, King Seven Suited. I believe in you. I believe in you, King Seven Suited. I my my, my trust is is, is 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 wavering. It doesn't feel great to have King Seven Hearts here when it goes back call on the flop and the turns of spade. Third place for 201.57 plus 482.59. Third place for 684 dollars. Good game. Not bad. Not what we wanted, but not bad. 8, 9, and 6, 4, and they flop flushes and everything in between. Over to the 5.30. Got more than two starting stacks, obviously zero in bounties so far in the 5.30. Ticking along and everything else. Final table of the high 2 We came third. We got a long way to go on today's session. <laughs> We're making a lot of chips when they fold. Oh, wow. We'll take that. Every day of the week, twice on Sundays. You got that, Phil? Paul Daniels, magic hand. How about this? What a dream. What a dream. Queens for two bounties, tens and ace jack. We are cooking. I didn't see this. We are cooking. 437.50 locked up in bounties in the 530. Beautiful. We're all in, I guess. All right, feel good when we don't get snapped. Fives, but all my outs are dead over here. Come on. Club as well, Mr. Tackle. Mr. Graf Tackle. Why do we both have to have Ace Jack, huh? It's a disgrace is what it is. And straight to a new table. Damn. I ISO'd here against Coco. We flopped a straight. We've been raised. Anyone scared? <sighs> Coco's obviously a very good player. I'm not going to say that he's not finding bluffs on the monotone flop. The problem is I'm not ISOing that many suited hands, right? This deep. When there's an Ace of Queen and a Jack of Diamonds on board. I do make some full houses now. I do have some flushes now. But... How does he bluff here, even? See, I don't think people bluff, like, Ch maybe just Chet raises King of Diamonds, but... I mean, he has to limp call some offsuit King X, like, what, King 9-0 or something? King 8-0 or something? Nice! Gotta be the straight draws, too, right? But th that's the problem with having a straight, bluff catching a straight, is he's supposed to bluff with the, uh, the straight draws, just, like, having a 10 in his hand? Like, maybe I'm just a giant nit, but, I mean, d let's not forget, this is 174 big blinds. But I don't think I can fold. Why? Dream spot here as well, old Brock all in for $125. 
Rejamming very wide. Paulinho for 50 blinds. Could definitely put in with some worse pairs. It's another flip for 125. Everything going to sh today apart from the 530 bounty builder, which is cooking. Cooking. I enjoyed those Coco Pops. Yes, I did. I'll have you know. And I enjoy having aces against Nuke the Fish. I enjoy having aces against anybody. Boo! Give me your chips. We did win a double flip over here. $50 in bounties. You absolutely positively love to see it. Okay. Do -hoo 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 -hood. Let's see a seven, shall we? Or dare I say a queen. This is a very good river for my 9-10, though. I'm going to go for a check raise. I'm ready to raise. It's such a great spot for me to check raise, I think. I'm very excited about it. And I have so many hands like 6-5, 6-7, 4-5, 4-7, that Phileas is going to think I'm turning into a bluff. What I'm saying is it's very easy to overdo the check raise all in here because I have 4-5, 4-7, 8-7, 8-5, 6-5, 6-7, all of these, you know, 8-9, 8-10, all of these candidates to bluff with. So I think it's very easy to overdo it here. Uh, and if he value bets like king, queen, ace, queen at the river, I think I'm getting paid a lot. Queen, 10 at the river, I think I'm getting paid a lot. So dream spot, dream spot to check raise but just bets fo bet folds, and that's very sad. And that's very sad indeed. Are we raise calling here? Should we be tasked with the all-in, which we're not? Just to check jam? I mean, I don't think this is ever an eight when they check jam. I think it's flush draws, and we're going to take our equity. Maybe some ace three, too. Oh, six three, lovely. It's beautiful. 125 for the KO. And Queen Jack against eights against nines. We're flipping with all the bounties. We've got a royal flush draw, but we've bricked. Huge amount of equity bricked off there in the hot one and nine. Too many outs, some might say. My opponent just overbet the turn here, and I've called with King Seven of Spades, and I've made the nut flush at the river. Two hundred eighty-one dollar bounty. What a river card, really. What a river card. Best card I've seen today. Chip leader in the five thirty. Eight hundred and forty-four locked up. Hot one and nine PKO Markovitsis. We cover Markovitsis, which means he's got a pretty good hand, I'd imagine. Good enough. Forty percent though. We don't mind it. It's my year. Nope. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Good luck, everybody. My bounty's inspired a little bit of action. Some might say. Some might say. What do I need? A miracle. Another three. Or an ace. <laughs> Miracles, indeed. What do I have now? Four blinds? How about that? Some run out. All right, I'm going with the king eight suited. Even though it's Markovitz, we've got a $25 bounty here. I imagine people are getting, getting amongst it a little bit, you know? That's an eight for the bounty. Markovitz, it's my year, buddy. It's my year, I'm telling you. The tables have turned. But we do have queens in the big blind where everyone covers me. Now, here you go. This is where you apply the pressure, right? You cover me, you near the money bubble. This is where you make me feel the pain. So calm, feel the noise. Girls rock your voice. Give them a chance. Give them a chance to fall it in my face. Oh, they just have a real hand. Don't worry. Chip lead pot. By the way, I'm sitting there saying chip lead pot when it's 41k in the middle. And this guy clearly has 48k. But... It's a good foot to win because it's second in chips, right? Third in chips. Third in chips. But three is good. Three is the key. Three is the key. Blind v blind. $470 bounty. And we've got an ace four. Hold. For $468.75. It's 100% on the turn. You absolutely positively love to see it. 1.3k in bounties. One of 31. I've got a flush in the 5.30 turbo, turbo. There's no way I'm gonna lose. Do da do da day. Nine ten of spades all in. Go ahead, make my day. Nine ten of spades all in. Nine ten of spades all in. Said nine ten of spades all in. Man, come on, you can't give up. Don't give up. Maybe I've got nine ten of spades all in. Maybe they're catching a seven. No, they just jam a seven, obviously. They just jam a seven. Maybe they have like an eight, though. Maybe they have just a king, though. Super. Super fantastiche. 24 of 61. 39 paid in the 530 Turbo New Year Series. 
Let's freaking go, you guys. We are on the final table, my friends. Second final table of the day, actually. We're on the final table of the Hot 82, weren't we? Final table of the Hot 82, and ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the final table of the Hot 109. Let's do it. And we'll get some pets up on the screen for you. A reminder, if I may, that the pets you're about to see are exclusive of bounties. That is to say, we're going to win whatever is in the pay table, plus however much money we get for knocking folks out. That's a number that currently stands at $75. This is what we're playing for. We need some at red. Quick. No good on the FT. Nothing over on the FT till it's over. Ace King all in. But of course. But of course. Alright, let's hold. That's a shame. That's really good. That's a really good turn card. I told you nothing over till it's over. We're tripling up. Just like that. We're back to two of eight. All's well that ends well. Lipper Piv jamming here. 25 blinds, four-handed. Even two from the money, I'm not folding ace-queen suited. The min cash is less important, right? Like, it's just a uh, very top-heavy format. Obviously, it's a min bounty, but it's it's 25 blinds with ace-queen when we're going to be opening very wide here as chip leader. So good luck, us. Obviously, they're going to time bank, try and get in the money, two away. Very really important that we hold here. Oh, wow. Oh, do it. I'll take a chop right now. I lied. I must have lied. The diamonds, the queen, it's all coming up me. That was a pretty nice run out, troops. That was a pretty nice run out. Just what we needed. 250 locked up, 9 of 40. One away from the money. Third returning says, Spraggy, you are the luckiest player I've ever seen. I know, I'm so lucky. It's crazy, actually. I'm so lucky, man. I get sick of it myself sometimes. Relentless run good. A blind? I don't know what I'm doing here, but I don't think I'm just calling a blind when it goes back, call, flop. I don't think I'm over calling. Two of 19 it is. We are down to seven on the FT. We just lost somebody with an all-in. So we're laddering for whatever, 40 bucks. We're all-ins, we got all-ins. We're down to six. We're gonna lose Turco Man unless there's a king. 375 locked up. I really didn't want to peel here, but I kind of didn't want to fold. What's interesting is some of the aces that you might bluff are the diamonds with the back door. Doesn't have that many flushes with the ace and the queen of spades on. Maybe like jack 10, king 10, king jack, etc. So I'm not that worried because I don't think he bets like ace x of hearts, ace x of clubs on the flop. So maybe this is fucking great. Maybe we just get there against king queen now. But like, I guess we just check because we still lose to an ace and just, I don't know. Why are 10, 6 of hearts raising and betting? Covered by the button. 10, 6 of hearts. Wow. Wow. That's big trouble on the FT because he's he's covered and calling. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Eight. Nope. We are out on the FT to Queen and a Jack for 377. Do we have any pay jumps here? 29 was a pay jump to 600. 19 is a pay jump to 800. 8K plus bounties for the win. Still in this tournament. Lena 900 in third. Pondidi in fourth. Lex in sixth. Perry Medicine in... Just moved. Just lost a pot. Some betting here. Maybe we ought to go bigger, but I don't think we have that many bigger bets at this depth. We'll fold out some floats. Block A7, A8 suited, which are some of the ASX are going to flat here, I suppose. Good efficiency on a bluff since we're folding out only better high cards, you know? I do think they get very ASX dense once they call the turn. And I'm giving up like a coward and losing to Ace Jack or Ace 10 or whatever. I wonder if we just lead all in. I did think about it, but with our bounty, I don't think we should. I don't think we have any fold equity, so I, I don't know. Take my, take my price. All right, we made it to 14 to 14, which is the pay jump that we we're after, to be honest. Not saying that we can't spin up, but obviously we've just secured ourselves another 250 bucks with a ladder here. What a hand to pick up, huh? By the way, snap folds. I'm here with $250 overlaid, and I pick up the ace 10. People are going to go wild for this. And, uh, well, not wild, but it's obviously going to induce quite a bit of action. This is great. We get protection. We get the protection. We got a strong hand. This can easily be a worse ace -X. Just the tens. There's an ace. They got one out. We're back in the game. Unless they hit their one out. We're back in the game. Eight BBs. Oh, my goodness. Straight into the pocket tens. No. Come on, for 600k in this tournament with 14 left, tens against deuces, and he hits a deuce, mate. Ah, uh, you know, it's like 17k for the win. Obviously, we just won ace 10 against tens, but it doesn't make me feel any better about it. GG's.
Good game, good game. What's that? $1,284. But we do have queens in the big blind, which is a good hand. For sure. We just jam or do we induce? We're just gonna jam. $500 bounty. You love to see it. You love to see it. Big flip to win, folks. The bubble has burst in the classic race. Simply lovely stuff. Back into the chip lead and $1,843 locked up plus this. That's at 2.4, 2.5. Beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Obviously, we're very, very excited about having top pair, top kicker with a $562 bounty. Sorry, second kicker with a $562 bounty. Very excited indeed. Hold. Gonna jam. Hold. Double got shot. Bricks it out. $562 bounty. Proud flop set him up. We took him down. 2.4k locked up. First of 14. You love to see it. 3.1k total locked up here in the 530 now. Beautiful. Simply lovely stuff. Razy Daisy. Robert Levin Defendi. Whatever you want to do, we'll do it. 9-7 of spades. It's a beautiful hand. Oh my goodness me, he hasn't. Are they going to lead all in as well? Because it's like, you know, they're going to make some connections here and I fold some stuff. I don't think I fold actually. I flop the nuts. It's unbelievable. They're drawing pretty thin. <laughs> no chops, no party. Look at us go. I mean, what an absurd, absurd flop. $187.50 bounty. Not too bad, huh? Time for the bin. And time for a three bet all in. Not a three bet all in. A three bet to eight and a half. And a call if they jam. 35 big blind rip. If it comes in. Happy to do it. Fine. Fine by me. Big pot. There is no stopping us right now in this tournament. One of ten. $2,968.75 locked up in bounties. We run into the top and we just hold against it. Nearly a million chips. Oi, oi, oi. Someone's gonna be calling. Maybe two players. Maybe I'm from Serbia goes after the 1.2 and then Proudflop goes after it all. Indeed, that is the case. Jacks, Kings, Ace, Queen. What a board this is. Kings takes the lot. Hang Buse is out. We're on a final table. Proudflop short. I'm from Serbia with a big cooler. And here we go. This is your final table, and here come your payouts. A reminder that the payouts you're going to see on your screen are exclusive of bounties. That is to say that we are going to win whatever you see on your screen, plus anything we make for knocking people out along the way. That is a number that currently stands at $2,968.75. We come in as the chip leader, one of nine. So we've got 1079 for ninth place as a minimum and 3k what's that so we've got about four thousand dollars locked up first place is 7k plus bounty it's gonna be about somewhere between 15 and 20 thousand today which would be nice i would like to win 15 to 20 thousand dollars on a cold monday night in gloucestershire Welcome back to the segment that we like to call Power Rankings. These are my New Year's series Power Rankings for players on PokerStars. Two community submissions. Tweety, who final tabled the $11 mystery bounty today and has won five silver passes in Power Path. Pucking Fishies in fourth, who won a $5.50 tournament. First out of 2,482. Bounty built a $5.50 for 1500 bucks. But overall, Mr. Lex Valdhuis leads my power rankings, having won, what, four New Year's Series events? Drew Durs won a couple, Romeo Pro in there, making some FTs. Papo back on today for coming second in the 5K Titans. Worked his way back onto the uh, power rankings for now. If you feel like you've been watching New Year's Series and been watching results or watching other streams and seeing people do well and you want to make, make an argument that someone should be on the power rankings leaderboard, feel free to make your case in the chat. If you feel like you might deserve a place on the power rankings leaderboard, if you've been having a good New Year's Series, you can absolutely uh join the discord and post your results in the brag section and you will be considered we got an all in only 187 dollars 50 bounty though so it's not like a huge part of the prize pool don't expect to be see people going too wild for it these must just be good hands real sushi must have a pretty decent hand here i think i don't think this bounty is enough to inspire like crazy action yeah ace king ace king and ace 10 we will lose the ace 10 we are down to eight players remaining 1,311 plus bounties locked up for us, like 4.3. And one low all in, proud flop all in, real sushi all in behind, aces, ace, king, and fives. Fumpf! Kein Fumpf. Man, real sushi. Aces behind, two, two all ins. We ladder up to sixth place. $2,188 plus 3,000. What's that? Five something. 
Five something. But it does mean that to our left now, 1,700k, 800k, we get jammed on. We're very happy. Uh, and obviously we'd play for all the chips if uh, Kumasolo, Kumalo Soy wants to go in. Or wants to chat raise. And what on earth is that turn? I mean, it's bad. It's not the end of the world. It's pretty bad, though. Not just because they're making straights, but because they're making some two pairs. But they will also have hands like Jack-8 that just make one pair. Some 10-4, 10-3 that still have one pair. I think they probably lead their entire range on the turn. Or at least a decent amount of leading, it feels like. I think maybe we still bet our hand. We can go either way on the turn. And bet and check back the river. We can still get value from like 6x of diamonds, 7x of diamonds, some 10x. I don't think all the 10x are just going to be able to fold. So I think we'll bet and then just show down. And sometimes lose to what? 6-8, 7-8. Obviously, some backdoor flushes now, but... Wow. King 10, river to king. This is sad, actually, because, like, the, the like, check call here on the flop, I would really expect them to just check, raise, flop, play for stacks. Uh, we get good value on the turn, and then they just river a king, and it goes check, check, and it's very sad. It's obviously not ideal to lose a quarter of a million chip pot here on the river when we milk them. That's interesting, too. Um, hmm, that is an interesting flat off, what, 16? 17. Not a diamond in sight. And obviously a very tragic turn. Very tragic turn. Obviously there are some situations where we win. Because I do have a bunch of a in the small blind. Which means that Real Sushi could just give up a hand like Jack Ten of Hearts. And Lobo might have, you know, like 6s or 7s or, you know, King Queen. So I think there are some situations where we win. I don't know if that means I want to bet the river really. I mean, what does betting achieve with stopping like Jack-10 from bluffing now? But like, three ways might not be happening anyway. Very interesting. Like, it's just so interesting, isn't it? They need to be bluffing like King-Queen or King-Jack or Queen-Jack, right? We think they value bet most of the ace on the turn. Because I personally do, the way they've been playing. They overcalled this Queen-3 in the big blind, which I think is just like absurdly bad. So now I feel like that, like this sort of player type probably just wants to bet an ace on the turn because they're afraid of the flush. So am I weighting them towards like queen 10, queen jack, king jack, king queen? And if they flat the offsuit hands, which if they flat the queen 3-0, they probably do. Then that's quite a few bluffs. And I probably lead some ace at the river. Maybe I just want to call and get shown king queen or something. That obviously makes some sense as well to have the nut flush. Very good. Very good hand. But I think close. I think the way they've been playing, I think I like calling the eights. Because I, I I don't think they have, like, ace-10 of whatever non-diamonds. I don't think they have any ace that aren't, like, the slow play trap nuts, to be frank. The way they've been playing. And I think they're very, very heavily weighted towards the broadways, and they just bluff them when they get to the river. Uh, but obviously, we cannot beat ace-10 of diamonds swap in the nush. Check, 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 Bet. We cannot. Mark of this is all in. Ten big blinds. And is called. And is pipped and is against red card and a pair and is eliminated. You got that, Phil. No good. Flush is going to play. We are laddered to five remaining. 2,826. Ace-King gets Ace-8. If Ace-King holds, we're laddering again. Well, look at that. Look at us go. 3,651 plus 3 came back. So we've got 6,600 locked up. Blind versus blind. All in. And a call. Let's... Wow. Seven or a jack. That'll do it. We'll take it. It's a bad beat, and we're laddering to third place. Yay! Huge. Jack A offsuit versus the nines. Blind v blind. Drills it. Ooh, kings oh. for me. Kings for me, honey. What are we supposed to do? Play a three blind raise? It's a bit bait, isn't it? It's a bit bait, but we do want to play some raise. Hey, come on. I got $1,600 on my head here. No! Hey, come on. Hey, if you're following on uh, YouTube, did you know that if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, we actually get a 10% increase on the chance that we get dealt ace-ace in the very next hand? It's true. That's not a 33-year-old man making it up to try and get someone to subscribe to his sad little channel. It isn't, I promise. But do subscribe if you're enjoying the stream and leave a great big thumbs up on the channel. And now we're rooting for one of these guys to lose their mind. The good news is we are probably getting action because of our bounty, right? Against fake Ramon Kalilius. It's not the Real Dayal. He's going to jam. I'm going to call. No, come on. Do we just rip? Ace, queen, oh. Surely we induce. Thing is, I do want to do some silly shit here. Even covered, I want to do some silly shit. So I'll induce it. It's a very strong hand. The more silly shit we want to do, the more we do want to induce. And I think I want to do some. Versus the limp again. It's kind of like Marco Vitz is where we raise the 5-8, the right? I don't know, man. Because I'm going to hate getting raised. But I feel like I'm not getting raised very often. Because when I raise off 13, he might be a little sus, you know? I'm upset. 
If I had ace jack, I think I would have ripped. I think ace queen, even off suit, I'm still gonna make it three. And I'm I've just now I'm absolutely ap apoplectic. I'm furious. Straight back into the nuts though. Here we go. Straight back into my double up. Come on, baby, just hold. Just hold ace jack. You can do it. I believe in you. If he went after the jack eight with the nines, he's definitely not folding air. Even with some real shit. Which is good for us, because we could have 600k when he calls this shit, and we're going to hold. 9-5 off. Clean as a whistle. Very good. 500,000 chips it is. Game on. I think I'm going to shove. And I think 3-bet small is 2-bet. I don't think I play th small 3-bet here. Just hold with the queens. Just hold with the queens. And we have a million, if we get called. Siberia might have a hand. Just hold with the queens. You are taking the piss. One out. The state of that. Well, that's unfortunate. Not a lot we can do. Third place for whatever that is. Third for 4,717.17 plus 2,968.75. According to this, it's $50,000, but I think that's wrong. What do you think, chat? Ever so slightly. Uh, 7,686, which means that 7,686, 7,686. It means that today we invested $5,782 and we cashed out for $10,477 for a net profit and our first winning session of 4,695 bucks, which is just marvelous. Much better, much better. More of these sessions required third place there in the 530 bounty builder for just over seven and a half thousand uh, dollars. With all the other runs this day, we were in for 5,782 and out for 10,477. For a net profit of the tournaments you saw in this video, we made $4,695. That takes our series totals to in for 36K, out for 26K and a bit. We're down 9,471, but the only way is up. If you want to join me for 2024, do make sure you're subscribed. Thanks everybody for watching. We will see you next time.